you notice that a key health technology device is on sale at 15% off. The device costs $100. If you buy three devices, the company provides an additional discount of 12%. Okay, so we have two discounts if we buy three. Taxes are 13%. And now we want to know the total price, okay, if you purchase all three, okay, and round to the cent. I guess it's money, so we will round to the cent. Okay, so given. Now, anytime I'm dealing with discounts and taxes, I like to set it up um, kind of in terms of given as a little bit of a flow chart between discounts and taxes. So I always begin with whatever the regular price is. Now, it's $100, but we are supposed to be buying three of these. So it is actually $300. And now next, what I do is for a purchase, I will say, okay, what is the first discount? Okay. Now, in this case, there is a discount of 15%. I have to always change that into decimal. And that would give me the discount, so the amount of discount. And now on the other branch, I go ahead and do, so basically 100% minus the 15% discount. And we're supposed to do that as a decimal. So 100% is 1 minus 0 0.15. And this was the 15% there. So that is my first discount, but they say, if I'm buying three, I actually get an additional discount. So we're not going to be adding it to the 15%. Instead, what we do is we branch off and we say, okay, after we apply a 15% discount, we got an additional discount of 12%. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So 100% minus the 0 0.12. So now I have my first discount and my second discount. Now there's some taxes that are applied. So there's 13% tax. And now tax is obviously not a discount. So we have to say plus 13%. And this is kind of my flow tree of what happens. Now they are looking for the total price, right? So my total price is this entire path that I have here. So it's easy to um, construct an actual equation out of this once you have this path. So I'm going to say let, so TP be the total price. And now writing it out, as I said, it's going to be actually really nice and easy. So I start from the back, so basically 1 plus 0 0.13, and then multiplied by, and now let's take all the discounts into account. So there's two of them, and that's going to be multiplied by $300. All right, so let's take out our calculator here, and let's put it all in so we can use the brackets. 1 plus 0 0.13 in brackets multiplied by, open bracket, 1 minus 0 0.12, close the bracket, multiplied by, 1 minus 0 0.15, close the bracket, and times the $300. Okay, so now we have our total price, which is $253, and to the cents, it's 57 cents. And that is it, okay? So I like to write these givens as this flow chart because then I can easily set up this equation here that you saw, okay? And then I can just put it in my calculator. All right, so I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.